on 21 Alive News at 530. Lots of people are talking about the upcoming solar eclipse. Meteorologist Caleb Saylor takes us to a part of 21 country that's been preparing for seven years. Plus, the Kansas City shooting. Tonight, a closer look at the woman who was killed. Plus, what officials are saying about the motive. Are they any closer to finding out why the suspects opened fire? Thank you for being with us. I'm Heather Heron. 21 Alive News at 530 begins right now. Now, from your local news leader, this is 21 Alive News. And new at 5.30 tonight, a look at the excitement building over the upcoming solar eclipse. As 21 Alive's Caleb Saylor reports, parts of 21 country have been getting ready for an influx of visitors for years. That's right, Heather. Creating memorable experiences is just one of the missions for those in charge of the Indiana State Parks. And regardless of whether there's snow on the ground or clouds in the sky, they're working hard to make sure the upcoming solar eclipse is extra memorable. Preparing for the upcoming solar eclipse is difficult work. And with 54 state properties in the path of totality, officials with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources needed to start preparations right after the 2017 eclipse. We had a call the very next day of someone wanting to book a room at our Brown County Inn, a Martin Lodge, for the 2024 eclipse, which was seven years out. We knew then that we need to start preparing. Those preparations include planning for conservation officers to patrol their properties to make sure they're safe, working with police to keep traffic flowing smoothly, but they also want visitors to work with them on leaving the parks how they found them. And state parks, our policy is you bring the trash in, you take the trash out. So we hope people that will bring maybe some kind of plastic bag that they can put all their trash in and bring it out with them. It's not just the logistics, though. State park officials are planning family-friendly activities in the days leading up to the eclipse and have special viewing glasses and T-shirts for sale to help make the day more memorable. However, Heaston says if you live in the path of totality, it's best to enjoy the eclipse from home because of all of the visitors. But if you do plan on enjoying the eclipse from a state park, be patient, be prepared to be there all day, get there early, um, bring your chairs, your picnic, and get ready to experience something you've never seen before. And again, Indiana won't have it until 2099, so we need to experience it now. Now, these <laughs> stylish glasses and the special t-shirts can be bought at the area state parks and online. So for more information about viewing the eclipse at the state parks, you can find that information in this story on our website, 21alivenews.com. In studio, Caleb Saylor, 21 Alive News. Thank you, Caleb. We're going to take a look now.